Today on Navigating Retirement, we're going to shift gears a little bit, guys, and talk about retirement planning for small business owners. And David, a little bit different than, say, salaried or commission salespeople. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, there's a lot more to consider uh, for a business owner. This morning I was reading in a, uh, an article and it talked about the top 10 things you, th you should think about as an individual when you go into retirement. And uh, it all focused around the financial related things, uh, except for one thing is how many friends of yours uh, have retired. But on the financial side, for individuals, you know, RSPs are obvious things, uh, pension plan, um, tax-free savings accounts, uh, and all of those become a part of a business owner's uh, uh, consideration that they have to, but one additional thing is, you know, you've got a, this business and you've got that's to identify. That's a big asset. Yeah, you got to identify somebody that's going to buy it. And uh, so the biggest consideration, I, I can't stress this, um, enough is that you've got to spend some, you've got to take more time probably to plan it out because uh, it take you a while to find somebody to do it, right? Yeah. And Jeff, let's talk about some of the options here. Obviously, a TFSA applies to everybody, mm -hmm. um, uh, RSPs, things like that. So what, a small business owner, do they have other options? Well, in, in terms of their first consideration, it's what they do with the business. Do they, do they continue? Give it to the kids? Well, do they give it to the kids? They continue to be a part of it and draw a salary or an income as a consultant from there or do they sell the business outright and if they do that uh, then it becomes a, a whole different conversation I mean are, are they a publicly traded company where they can just sell their shares or are they private and now it gets about who's going to purchase it and, and what does that look like yeah maybe talk about some of the other options then David sure uh, you know for a business owner a lot of times we'll see people have individual pension plans set up uh, retirement compensation arrangements yeah deferred profit sharing plans. Uh, if they're large enough, they might set up a retirement, uh, uh, sorry, registered pension plan. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, you know, beyond that, uh, they also have, a lot of times when people go into uh, retirement, they'll have the proceeds of the sale of their business go into a holding company. Okay. And that allows them to, some benefits because it's just an additional tool to manage their personal tax uh, in, in terms of income. And Jeff, when do they, should they start doing this? I mean, obviously, when, maybe when the business first starts, but that's tough because, you know, they're investing the money in it, right? Yeah. Well, Dave and I were talking earlier, and, and uh, one of the comments he made is that, that you should build your business to sell in the first place. And, and it, it's, you know, to allude to what he said, it, you can't stress on if you need to start early because uh, businesses can be illiquid, there's emotional issues in terms of you hanging on to it or being able to let it go. So it's the earlier you start, the better. David, where can you get more information on this? Well, we've got a, uh, on our website, uh, yourlifeyourplan.ca, we have a checklist that uh, gives you practical perspectives on, on uh, succession planning.